Hey guys, Barry here. I just wanted to mention that this video is part of a course that I have on Udemy. If you'd like to support my work and get the full course, please use the link in the description below to get it at a discounted price. Thanks guys, back to the video. Alright guys, this video is going to be quite a mouthful because we're going to try and build our grid component. Now this isn't going to be just a standalone styled component, but we're kind of going to build it like it is and we'll add the logic to it later. So let's just get started and see how it goes. We might have to split this up into multiple videos, but we're going to have a grid. And inside our grid, we're going to have pretty much styled components. Um, so I'm going to put a styles folder there and I'm going to put a block folder because the grid is going to render a whole bunch of blocks. And the block is also going to consist of a styled uh, component, but the block itself will have stuff in it. So we'll have an index.ts there and the styles in it will be index.ts. I know this might be a bit of a weird way of working. It's hard to kind of comprehend what's going on here, but it's okay. You will figure it out. So again, I'm adding an index.ts here and the grid also needs an index.tsx. Uh, I think it's worth explaining why we have tsx and why we have ts. Um, so let's look at our index.tsx. The reason this is a tsx file is because we use a a TypeScript extension file. So it's like JSX, JavaScript extension, and we basically have this syntax in here. So if we have this kind of syntax, we have a TSX. If we don't have that kind of XML syntax, that extended syntax, then we can just use a normal.ts file. Like example, this doesn't have any of that, um, you know, bracket XML syntax. It's just so that our IDE knows what's going on. It's good semantics. Uh, I saved there and I've messed things up, so ignore this. We can actually make this full screen for now so that we can see what's going on. So that's the difference between TSX and TS. I've just kind of added the boilerplate here now. So I think let's start with creating our, our thing from the top down. So we're going to import React and FC because it's a functional component and that's the styling that we'll give it from React. Um, and here we're going to make a new grid. So const grid declare it as a functional component equals callback kind of function. Uh, we're going to add other stuff in here now. So I'm um, like, there will be, um, other stuff on the way. That's, that's kind of a thing. And, uh, yeah, I, I have just realized that I haven't made a checkpoint for a while for our code. So I'm going to quickly do that. Uh, after this video because we are kind of a long way since we last did a checkpoint for for github and stuff so I'll, I'll do that uh that stuff later but yeah this is other stuff on the way uh in here this is going to be a bit confusing but we're basically going to have i'm going to replace this with uh, this is going to be our container so i'm going to call this data cy uh grid container i know i said i was going to stop with data cy tags but i'm actually going to do that for the grid as well and um, this is going to consist of a whole bunch of rows, basically. So div, um, we'll call this data cy uh, grid row container. I accidentally put this on the outside of that. Um, and then inside, we're basically going to have our divs with the data cy um, blocks. So remember, we're gonna have like nine rows, so and, and nine blocks inside the rows. So what ends up happening is we have like nine of these, but you know it's all gonna be repeated, and the blocks as well inside here. There's going to be like nine blocks inside each row, so we're gonna have like eighty-one stuff. But uh, this is React, and it's a very much a templating language. So instead of doing all of that, we are going to randomly create a new array. So what we do is we say array nine. And we, this means we're making an array with a length of nine and oh, I forgot to, to do this. <laughs> I need to put this in brackets. Um, I'm still busy working on it, but you put, wrap this in curly brackets. We make this array and we make an array of nine empty elements and we're going to map through them. And what you usually have is you have your array item, but our array item is undefined. And then you have an index. Um, this must go into brackets actually, sorry. And then for each item and index, you, you will map through what I'm going to do is map through this. 
And again, I'm not going to really try and show you what's going on here yet because there's not much to show because it's just a bunch of empty divs. But what we're doing here is we have our array item and we have our, um, we'll call this the row index. And it's an array with nine items in it. So with that, those nine items, we're going to render this content nine times. Now we, we only go look at the index because the item is actually just going to be undefined because it's an array of like undefined items. So I'm going to make this an underscore because we're not using it. So this is kind of the semantic thing for like, we don't care. We don't need to use this. We're just going to label it that because it's not being used. So then we have a whole bunch of rows. Uh, but what we want to do now is inside here, we want to render a whole bunch of blocks. So how many blocks do you want to do? We want to do nine. So we're going to do this again. We're going to say dot, dot, dot array nine, and we're going to map through here. And again, we're not caring about the content of that useless array, but we do want to have the, the call index, the column index. And in there we will render another this will be the div that is the block. So div and um, data CY for this along will be block. Um, yeah, I'll just call it block for now. So I'm going to delete this for now, um, the block containers, because it's going to cause our project to crash. And I don't really want our project to crash right now. I think I'll even delete this because it's empty at the moment. So ignore all my stuff that I did before. I want to show you something and then we will call this video, uh, give it an end so I can give a nice checkpoint for GitLab because I haven't, or I haven't done that for GitHub yet. So, uh, if we run our project, it should theoretically be, again, I've got to try restart running this project because so many things have gone wrong with it. But if we run this, I want to show you a bug that occurs and then show you how to fix it. So, what happens here is again that five icon would be different for you i haven't rendered the grid yet that would be useful so we go back to this index.theme here and inside here we want to render we want to render grid but i also realize i haven't exported grid from components yet so let's go back up and close this style stuff here and the style stuff in this index file we need to um export default as grid from dot slash grid. Remember in grid, we've got the default exported here. So again, from components, we want to take that default exported from grid and export it again as, as grid. We have to give it a name when we export it. So in here we can get, I'm going to be alphabetical grid and grid doesn't take any props. So it should theoretically work. Now, there we go. It works. This seems to compile successfully. So everything's good. So this is all good and dandy. Our grid is empty. If we inspect element, um, you'll see there's a card and inside a card is our grid container with an empty div and there's nine rows and inside the rows, there are nine blocks. So they're all there. They're just empty spaces at the moment. So it, it did actually render properly. Now, one thing I want to show you is in the console, we get this warning here saying each child in a list should have a unique key prop. So that basically means that because this is a list and it's been mapped, we need to have a unique key prop for this. So again, I'm going to add this prop. And what you would usually do is you would say, um, we'd say our array item dot ID, because that's, you know, unique. It should have a unique ID, but these, this array doesn't have unique IDs. The next backup thing is, you know, that the row index is unique. So this will technically fix the bug. If we do the same thing down here, this is also being mapped. Um, we can say call index in here, but I'm going to show you an even better practice. So already we check, we've run it. Um, you know, you can see that this is all rendered properly, but now the console doesn't give that error anymore. So we fixed it, but a better way is to have react actually generate those things for you automatically when you don't have a key. Um, cause using this again, it's just, it, it will work. Um, it's theoretically a bad practice to use, um, your index, uh, for this because yeah, just, uh, it's not great. Um, I can actually render call index in here. I wonder what this will look like. 
again we're gonna have our problem again so <laughs> there we go we rendered all our numbers and stuff and it looks like a mess but it's fine uh to fix the key prop error there's a better way to do it uh this is for specifically when you don't have an id to assign to an item and that is by saying children dot what's well, actually react dot children uh dot to array and this kind of renders it in such a way i've got to wrap it down there that we don't have to worry about the key thing and we'll do the same thing here react dot children dot to array it's quite a mouthful of an episode i'm sorry about that and this this fixes our key issue so if we look back in here ignore the mess um we have our again uh i don't know what that is <laughs> let me just uh close this i think that's caused by this but our, our react children here um children is defined uh children is defined and not used so that's what i was going to say i was going to say we can actually um just import children directly from react so when we do this um you can see our console error is gone so this theoretically worked and uh apparently i don't know i've just read on a blog post that this is a better practice than using index uh as a key so yeah in the next video we're going to actually look at styling these uh rendered components here uh but i i'll chat to you guys then cool see you then cheers guys